Today we're having an update on all of the cars. Some good news, some bad news. Mostly bad news. M3, what's happening with that? Well, we're gonna watch it and then we'll discuss more. So the big news, and perhaps the most upsetting news, is that the barn, the farm, as you know it, will shortly no longer exist. As an ever gentrifying nation that we are, this will shortly become someone's house. Hope someone sends them a link to the YouTube at some point. But what does that mean for your cars? Well, today we will discuss these times are changing. Let me get this washed and then I'll see you inside. Artistic. Okay. We're going to do a garage update today. So you might not have heard what I said when I was washing M Trez, but all of this is going to become a house, which means the current occupants we need to leave soon. So what's going to happen with the cars? Well, let's start with the beast, the real MVP. This thing has been so loyal lately. Um, no complaints about anything on it. It's been so good in fact that I totally forgot it needed an MOT every year and it's been expired for a little bit. So I am going to take it off the road and not take the piss until I can get an MOT done. Completely forgot that, yeah, cars need MOTs, don't they? And it's been and gone and yeah, it got to the point where I had to get a message from the DVLA skis saying, um, where well they're from Swansea, aren't they? Welsh accent, uh, three, two, one. David, the yeah, MOTs, Jew man. I don't know, I can't do Wales. It's something like that, isn't it? But, uh, Daniel, the yeah, MOTs, Jew man. If you don't do the MOT, we can't charge you the tax. They're not Jamaican, are they? But, you know what I'm saying. It should fly through, I think. But, yeah, I'm not going to use it in February because. I need to get it MOT'd and stuff. Anyway, long story short, she's been real good. Kept meaning to make a video on how good it's been because it's been two years that I've owned the car now. And obviously you saw me have a lot of pain with it at the start, but I've not made a video about it for ages and that's because it's just been working. Been working really well, so everything's all right on that front. I'm sure it'll continue to provide many loyal servicings. M Trez, I've actually been using this quite a bit as well. Just, um, taking it for, for drives and, you know, trying to enjoy it a bit. But yeah, I've done my usual drive it through the dirty months. I know we're only halfway through winter pretty much, but I've just been driving it and I'd, I'd not washed it probably since, I don't know, sometime last year, long time ago. So I needed a wash, but this is gonna be my February car, just for a little bit while I get the 5 Series kind of back into legality. And I know a lot of you are thinking, oh, you know, I don't drive my M3 between October and March, you know, because of reasons. I like to live my life at 50%. Um, I can understand where you're coming from, but I've never really subscribed to any of that. And if I pay the price for having rotten cars, then more fool me, I guess. But So this one, it's not been touched since the last drift day. You might have saw it had some problems. And there was a man on Patreon who only subscribed to my Patreon because he wanted me to fix it. And, you know, it's still there. It wants a clutch and some kind of investigation to why it kind of clonked out that time, but it's still there and I don't know exactly what the plan is yet. We'll have to um, figure something out. So I put a lot of time and effort into it last year, but ultimately it wants quite a bit more time and effort still if it's gonna carry on doing Merry Skidmas and all that, but yeah, nothing's changed here. But onto the JDMs, which I know is the reason why a lot of you um, are here, whether it be the MR2 or the Integra, and a lot of you like the, the JDMs. Well, the most positive news out of all this change, this impending doom, the most positive news about that comes from the Integra's corner. Now, it's unconfirmed, 
can't say whether this will happen for sure, but we might have a nice new home for the Integra. And if that plays out, the Integra will then, in theory, become number one car, which I know it's supposed to have been, and I know I've not been keeping up with the rebuild videos, but, you know, life kind of took over at the Christmas time. Or should I say work kind of took over. The, the pasties were um, flying out the door, and I was doing loads of late night pasty runs and all that stuff so you know the day job was was keeping me down a bit over Christmas and stuff and yeah just been real busy and into January as well just been really busy so I've not really been up here as much as what I'd like to be so we'll come back to the Integra let's talk MR2s and, and racings How, what does it mean for the racings if this thing goes well let's just say I've not renewed my license or subscribed to any of the races for this year Last year I uh, did all this way ahead of time, entered all the races as soon as they become available but yeah I've done none of that this year just yet because I'm uncertain. I don't know what is going to happen with the MR2 or with MR2 racing. It's an uncertain future for sure but my plan, my plan is, I, I rebuilt the gearbox yesterday, that'll be a video coming after this I think. Um, it's pretty boring really, I started editing last night and I was like god this is well, if you've liked any of my gearbox videos in the past, you'll probably like it because everything went pretty well, all things considered. But yeah, I've got a new gearbox for it, which is a, a JDM gearbox with the UK limit slip differential. So I built that yesterday. So my plan is to get it built up to race so I can just race it and then hopefully find somewhere for it where I can just, you know, keep it as like a fully built car. And just when, if I want to do a race or anything like that, I can just go pick it up and and take it to race. I kind of feel like that's asking a lot because half of the racing last year was spent in the barn fixing stuff or trying to make things better. We hopefully still will be doing some MR2 racing because as you know it was a lot of fun for me and I think the videos are pretty good as well. I know a lot of you are hyped for the DC2 racing but there's not a championship like the MR2 championship for the Integra. There's, there's plenty of stuff I can race in but as far as close even racing there's not a lot comes close to um, MR2, to, to production class, let's call it. You know, there's a few of them in there. I've spoke about this before. You know, your MX5s and all that. That's the best kind of racing, I think. But racing the Integra will be fun as well, no doubt. So, yeah, I've obviously not got the MR2 back together. Um, I've not made any progress on the engine either. I want to tidy some things up, replace some seals and look at some bearings and stuff. Not got close to any of that. Hopefully still will before it goes back in, but ultimately priority on this is just get it back to being a, a racing car. I'm going to put all my new panels on it, and um, yeah, it'll probably be like a mismatch of black, blue and red for a little bit, but that's fine. A little bit of a chameleon. No, not chameleon. What's the word? I don't know. It'll look a bit crap anyway. That's uh, the bottom line. But I don't want to get rid of it. But the plan is, if, if I do have it as a fully built race car, then, you know, I do have the option then to sell it as well if, if that happened, right? If that happened. But anyway, that's the plan for the MR2, get it built back up. This car has perhaps the most promise. It has the brightest future, let's say. Or it potentially has the brightest future, but we'll see, see what happens there. Um, there's still a lot to do with it. Oh, I took the DC2 rebuild things offline because I was going to do one big episode and then kind of got distracted and that never happened but I'm still kind of planning on doing that but uh, you can still watch them all in a playlist they're just not on the main channel I think that's how it works I'll have a look into it later but yeah my job for today now we've watched the M3 anyway now we've watched the M3 and we've talked about the news these times are changing yeah but we need to try and get the DC2 rolling so I've got these arms that I put together in the last episode, did I put these together in the last episode? We've got the Super Pro bushings in there, super stiff one where the fork goes, and then we've got these spherical bushes on the back, which may or may not be upside down. I need to double check these hard race spherical ones for the compliance bush. So, yeah, I'm going to put the suspension back together today. Got the trailer arms down there looking pretty. Suspension back on today, try and get the car rolling a little bit again. So yeah, that's my garage update, and let's continue the day by putting the suspension S back on the DC2 and having it on the ground again. Rollable. 
All right, we're going to start at the rear with derriere. And yeah, as we know, we should really be doing some underbody protection here before bolting back together, but we're not going to worry about that just for now. Okay, understood? Right. There are some old camber arms still on there at the minute, but we'll see how we get on. Well, the bolts are all right, but the bars are perhaps not. Let's get the tap out. I didn't get any of my uh, china taps yet. Didn't order any. The irony being, if I had, they would have been here by now, because it was probably just before Christmas, I was whinging about not being able to get a Brexit tap. But, hey -oh. such is life. Yeah, these bars are not happy. I shouldn't require that much effort. So the camber arm on the back, that jobby there, two little bolt holes here. M10125, the best thread size and pitch in the world, holds together many components. One to tap by hand. It's, I mean, I've got a little handle on here, but this is normally fine just for Redoing bars, you know, redoing the threads, but it's not keen. Now I could get the big handle out, but I won't be able to use the big handle on this one because I didn't get the long china taps yet, did I? If I had the china taps, it would be cooking with gas right now. Hey, never mind. Just trying to make things a bit nicer. The bolts, the bolts are nice, you know, nothing wrong with the bolts. You can tell it's gone a little bit at the bottom, but. That's just because how dead the threads are. Fucking focus, man. Well, yeah, it's less than ideal. I got things going with a big handle, but I can only go like 90 degree turns at a time. So this is not going to be a quick one. Okay, I got a little bit fed up with the... Uh, yeah, decided to go down the old... Just how strong is a brushless motor? Well, let's find out because I've not been down this one yet. How much torque have you got, Mr. Brushless? Oh yeah, it's got the torque. Now we still might need to Run the die down the bolts because they the start a bit of the bolts is a bit shitty but ha oh, not too bad. Oh yeah they're both mega now. Yeah boy ignore this boy I can maybe spray something quickly on this while we're here so that we save so much time with the drill. Yeah we'll use the drill again just to like okay we'll do it just quickly I mean, if it's rotten underneath, we need to take it all off, really, don't we? Bad to the bone, rotten to the core. Okay, let's, let's scrub this up a little bit, why not? Alright, that really wasn't actually that bad, so... Let's not worry about it too much. Let's cover it up. Ooh. Could spray some kind of rust converter on there. But we'll come back to it in the future. Mark it red so we know. We know we need to come back here. Give it a few runs so people can tell I did it. Alright. I don't know. Hmm. 
Seems I might have been slightly wrong on my approach. <sighs> Okay, that took quite a bit longer than what I thought, but we're all bolted together. Minus the front toe arms, more on that in the future I'm sure, but for, for rolling the car about we don't need them. But yeah, it put up a bit of a fight to go back together, which is probably a positive thing in a sense, because that means all our bushes are right good, right? If it was real saggy and stuff. Obviously I've not put this very cool trailing arm bushing yet, so... Yeah, that's definitely still got some fighting in that bush, I tell you. That has been fighting me. Um, the hardest bolt to get in was this inner, that one just there. Kind of the, the low, lower bolt for the uh, rear hub, I guess you could call that. But, yeah, that was fighting. But, yep, the car can roll on that now. Everything's good to go. I'll go and do the other side and then we'll move on to the front. Aye. <sighs> <sighs> Yeah, don't look at my acne like that. You know, loads of people get acne, you know. We didn't have the cream at the time, otherwise we could have avoided this. Never mind. Okay, the rear suspension is back on the car. On both sides. That definitely required a wee bit more effort than I was expecting. Must have saw something nice when I was sat here down on my stool. Working away. Oh yeah, a little brown stain coming through on that patch. Lovely stuff, lovely stuff. All right, it's gone to the front. Hopefully the front shouldn't be as bad because we've only really got one arm to put on. Whereas we had everything to put on the back, so. Aye, onwards. Right, onto the front. Found some of your spanners, Ed. Nothing to worry about. Right, so in theory, all we have to do on the front is get these arms on. And then we need to crawl underneath and figure out what bolts we're missing. So I'm still missing some for the subframe. Now it seems to have collected quite a lot of parts underneath the car. Let's probably clear out a little bit first. Hello. Kingdom of Rust. Left. Le for left. Le. It's got Liz all over it. One thing I've learned today is the power of grease. I should say learned today. One thing that I've been abusing today is the power of grease. A little bit of grease goes a long way. Can't really give you a better angle. I was thinking I put the tripod here, but there's not enough room really. disconnect the shock absorber to try and get a little bit more travel on this. So the trouble I'm having at the moment is on the compliance bush. There's three bolts that I need to try and line up and I kind of get one of them in at a time really. But disconnected the shocker, which gave me a bit more play. But I'm going to try and get a pry bar in there now, see if that helps any. Come on, screwdriver. Don't fail me now. I've forgotten how to do everything on, on Del Honde. Oh, this side wasn't so bad. Maybe because I've just done the other side and I could attack it better. This is the wheel bearing that's proper for. Oh, there we go, it's turning a little bit. 
all stiff on that. I forgot to press record, but yeah, it's on four wheels now. Well, all four wheels actually rolls as well. Impressed by how well it rolled, I thought everything would be real seized up, but I mean, minimal effort to move that. And it's got the motor in it now, you know. It's not exactly super lightweight. Probably weighs about 900 kilos as it is, without the doors on it and stuff. But hey, I did pump the tyres up well as well, so maybe that's what it is. But she's on all fours, on the ground. It's been a while. When was the last time she was on the ground? Well, that's enough from today then. I'm going to put her back under the cover. Like I said, there might be some good news for this coming up shortly. Uh, unconfirmed yet, but I'll let you know, eh? Still loads to do. Suspension is good now for a bit at least. Still got engine mounts and exhausts and bits of wiring and fuel to set up and all of the interior and you know, the windscreens only there in spirit. It's not bolted down or anything, so plenty to do. MR2, plenty to do. This is obviously going to get covered in salt and shit this week. And then get this one sorted out soon as well so I can start using it again. Otherwise, you know, DVLA. I saw one of them DVSA vans on my way up here today. The Ford Galaxy things. I was like, come on then. <laughs> nah, of course not. I was hiding. But, yeah. See? So, yeah. We started on bad news, just as a reminder, unless you forgot. This ain't gonna be around much longer. Change is good though, I think. Anyway, that's enough from today. Hope you enjoy watching. I'll see you in a future video. Probably the next video will be that gearbox one, so don't get too excited about the next video.